We are now mourning more loss of life. More details coming in on that mass shooting on the campus of Michigan State University. At least three students killed, five other students injured. We will talk to the mayor of Lansing in just a moment, but this latest violence brings us to a very troubling big number, at least 67 mass shootings across the U.S. so far this year. That is according to the Gun Violence Archive. So many questions today. That gunman opening fire at least at two different locations. Officials first getting the call to the Michigan State University campus over at Berkey Hall. A dozen students barricading themselves in the library. Police say the suspect, a 43-year-old man, died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. We want to bring in the mayor of Lansing, Michigan, Andy Shore. Thank you so much for being here under these really terrible circumstances. Thank you for having me, Rhiannon and, uh, and Gio and Dr. Jen. It's a uh, it's, it's tragic, really. This is a, it's a terrible time. No mayor, no, no governor, no elected official ever wants to, to be up all night or wake up to a situation like this. But, but our folks really, uh, they got in, they, they did what they needed to do. They identified the uh, assailants and, um, and the threat was taken care of. So, um, you know, the results is, is what we needed. And now it's a lot of healing for our community. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of a crazy, crazy night and morning. As you mentioned, no one ever wants to believe that this could happen in their community. And we've learned that three students were killed, five other students were injured. How are you in the community doing right now? There's a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion, a lot of fear. Um, you know, our, our schools, our public schools throughout the area shut down. Um, people are, are really trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but we have been presenting information steadily. Uh, MSU police has been incredible. Uh, there, there are several different police agencies. Uh, we provided resources for students and for the public for, for mental health and, and to really help to, to do counseling. So we're providing everything the community needs, but there's just a lot of a lot of shock, a lot of shock, a lot of fear and a lot of confusion. Mayor Shore, I know this just happened, but what are you learning right now about the suspect? Uh, they're still they're still doing all that investigation. You know, we were doing it all night and uh, we do know it's it's a 43 year old uh, male. We know that he was not affiliated with MSU, not faculty, not staff, not a student. Um, I have no idea, you know, motive or anything like that. We're checking to see transportation. He uh, he he did the shootings, as you said, in Berkey Hall and in the Union, and then made his way into into the edge of the city of Lansing, which is where he was confronted. Um, when he was confronted, he took his own life. Um, but we don't know a whole lot more than that, and the investigation is, is ongoing. Uh, our state police is very involved, our Lansing police are very involved, and MSU and East Lansing police. So uh, as we have information, it's going to be released. We're being very transparent. So uh, as we have it, you'll know it. And Mr. Mayor, speaking of information, what can you tell us about the victims in the hospital? How are they doing? Well, we know that, um, that there are three deceased. We know that there are five that are in the hospital. The medical examiner from Sparrow Hospital here in Lansing addressed a press conference this morning. Um, they are, are critical but stable. Uh, they're, uh, it's, it, it's, nothing is certain yet. It's, it's touch and go, and, and the, the doctors are doing their best to work uh, as aggressively as possible. But Sparrow is a level one trauma center. We have some of the best doctors in the nation, so it'll be the very best care that these young people will ever get. Lansing, Michigan Mayor Andy Shore, our hearts are with your community, of course. Thank you so much for joining us on this very difficult day. Thank you for having me. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.